my dear fellow collectors welcome back to the second part of our barbie hair wave restoration restoration project 2.0 now i want to give you some details about what i found out i taped this video with two different cameras because you know i'm a lefty and my left hand is sometimes just in the way where it shouldn't be a second camera as a solution came into my mind but then <laughs> after I cutted the whole video, I realized um, the video was too long. I had at the end 30 minutes of video, but I think that's not the point. That's not what, what you want to see. You wanted a short video and not um, an, an epic movie about uh, how to crimp Barbie waves. That's why I cutted this whole video a second time. The inspiration for this video came from another YouTube channel. They did the same thing but in Portuguese and he did not record any special English version. So I had the idea to do an English version since there is no English version on YouTube. Now, by the way, I found some interesting pieces of information. Kanekalon hair was invented in the 1960s, not very far from where I live now. I also found the information that it should not melt while treating it with heat. Um, that was definitive a point I didn't want to test. To prevent any melting, I use water in the hair, so that it's at least a little uh, wet and a little moisture in there. My crimpers um, have definitively a difference concerning the heat they produce. The black one I use for this video here is much hotter than the grey one. It really heats up to 160 degrees Celsius. I unplugged it because I wanted to be sure that it does not heat up any higher. I did it when uh, the temperature was around 130 degrees. You can see at the beginning of the video some steam. That's because the crimper is very hot. And I had to plug it again later during the video um, because the temperature became too low. So it is a matter of the right temperature, I think. This crimper um, in particular can deal with some more hair and bigger streaks than the grey one. The quality seems also to be a little bit better on the black crimper. It's heavier, but it has also a better feeling in your hands because of the weight. So let's come to the technique of crimping itself. It's important that you don't use too much hair for one crimp wave. And it's important that you get um, the other hair out of your way. I use little hair clips for this. I did separate three parts of hair, the middle part, the left part and the right part. The easiest way to start is in the middle, with what you would call the wool hair on human's hair. It's um, the part um, Nobody sees, expect yourself. Then crimp the streak and separate another streak. By the way, I used my rerouting needle for it. Then comb the hair, um, make it a little bit wet, crimp the streak um, with your crimper and do it again. It's not complicated, but I think um, the hardest thing to keep in mind is the right amount of water in the hair. It's not so easy to find um, the right amount of water, you have to experiment. Um, a little bit. Just be uh, a hobby inventor and test it. I also found out that water, too much water, can cause problems concerning the durability of the crimp waves. The whole process lasted at least 15 minutes and you really have to concentrate yourself. Looking back to the process itself, I asked myself if they really did this the way I did. Or maybe um, the hair came already crimped in the factory. Did they really employ hundreds and hundreds of female workers with crimpers just to get the hair crimped? To be honest, I have never thought about it before. But if they really employed female workers just to crimp the hair, it must have been a very boring job that had to be done. When you do this um, at the weekend just for fun it, on your Barbie and the learning process, I think it's okay, but not when you do this for making a living. I also did not consider um, the durability of the crimp waves. Maybe the hair was um, treated somehow, but at the end of my video I wanted to make my video, uh, my Whitney, the most beautiful doll 
you've ever seen and until that point you get several totally hair creamed wave videos but none of the other one none of the other youtube channels combed the hair and i know why i made an encounter while doing so so keep uh, so stay tuned in until the rest of the video then i show you my encounter um, by the way, um, what I also wanted to say is um, that you uh, probably need a little bit of practice for finding the right amount of uh, heat the iron uh, has to have and um, the amount of water that has to be in the hair to get the perfect waves. I think I forgot that. <laughs> a little front closer my dear fellow collectors that's the result after letting her dry for one day um, I think it's not bad but not all streaks are perfect maybe I'm gonna do this a second time um, I see some streaks are very good, but the ends are uh, not so good on some streaks. Well, let's see and um, do more research and test and um, yeah, I hope you like my little video and um, that we see each other again in the next weeks. Um, you can send me, of course, your broken Barbie dolls for new repair videos. And I hope you like my little video. Stay tuned in. This is um, a look at my workshop at the moment. Lots and lots of things to come in the next weeks and months, some of my new projects, finally everything is here and I can start. Yay! See you in the next weeks!